Bill Nye has come a long way since his days as a mechanical engineer at Boeing. He rebooted his career as a comedian. Do you like green eggs and ham? Bill Nye the Science Guy. Using know-how, he gained worldwide fame teaching a generation of children about the fun side of science, and now finding new ways to reach a new tech-savvy generation. I would love to talk a little bit about your own journey. It's, it's always fascinating. You've probably told it a hundred times, but this a evolution more than from that, but that's fine. <laughs> from from the world of Boeing to the guy we all know and yes. see on television now. Um, looking back, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Well, just that you don't know what's going to happen. That's what I would say. You just get started. So I was working as an engineer. I won the Steve Martin Lookalike Contest. I wanted to write my own jokes. I eventually quit my job, my full-time job. I worked as an engineer part-time for 10 years after I quit my job. And, uh, and then I wanted to get kids excited about science, you know, especially in the United States, but I had a great relationship with TV Ontario, you know, the crawl space with Kevin and uh, Patty. And so uh, we want people, when I was growing up, the emphasis was learning how to get information. Go to the library, look things up in a book, look things up in magazine, scientific journal, whatever it is. But now, getting the information is easy. Uh, what we want is for people to be able to sort it, the bad from the good, to find the, what information is worthy and what isn't. So when, when you decide, I'm going to leave an aerospace career for the unknown. What was it like in that era before information at our fingertips, the well, internet? It was, it was a financial risk. Am I gonna make enough money to live? You know, at that point I had a mortgage, I had a condominium. And uh, it was, uh, I decided if I didn't do it then, I'd never do it, you know, when I was young. I was young, when I was uh, 30, something like that. Let's see, I was, was, uh, I was about to be 30, about to be 31, I mean, yeah, when I quit my job. And you moved on, you've had all the success that you've had. You know what's interesting, you think about um, opportunities and pursuing those opportunities, and um, you've been able to obtain patents, which, yeah. that, that requires diligence. diligence and focus. Yeah, yeah. What led you down that path? Uh, there were a couple things. First of all, on the Science Guy show, we were making magnifiers with plastic bags. So I had a little innovation to make it get all the air out. It's okay. Uh, then we did the, um, the binary abacus, which has no practical application but is good for teaching. So you get on that, you get what's called a design patent. But the ballet toe shoe people, so we did a show on bones and muscles, and you, these young women had all these crazy injuries. And I realized that toe shoe hasn't changed in centuries. And since uh, I got that patent on the toe shoe, I think that's gonna, the real key to the future in toe shoes is 3D printing. It's additive manufacture, as it's called. So my patent will uh, age out before it even catches on. But that's all right, I tried it. It's so, an experiment, people. That's what it's all about, and thinking ahead. What about living in the moment? We're at this Nintendo Labo event, lots of kids here. What have you learned from your interactions well, with you inquisitive learned, minds over the years? Well, what I was learning is what works and what needs to be explained. A lot of the kids uh, would, had trouble putting the controllers on the correct side to get the car to operate, but they figured it out. And then uh, they were very good at following the instructions. The instructions are quite intuitive, which is, that's good to know. These are details, but you wanna, everybody likes playing with them, everybody likes decorating them. So, we've seen so much in your career, and uh, I'm always curious to know what's still on one's to-do list. What, what's oh, still a couple things, yeah. yeah. First of all, I want the world to change completely so that we have all renewable electricity. That would be great. New air transportation, probably liquid hydrogen. It might be methane manufactured from carbon dioxide in the air. That aside, I have a movie I want to make. 
about a, a guy who was in the 19th century, very famous guy named Nathaniel Bowditch. Since global positioning systems have been created, his work is not as relevant as it was when he was alive. But his story is very cool, and I own the rights to it, and I want to make a movie since you asked. And because people are always interested in you, oh, uh, the so personality of Bill Nye, it's true. Uh, because you're talking about the future of the planet, um, is this something that you, uh, from a business perspective, see opportunity in, or do you, do you prefer to talk about the issues and, and address the issues? Well, I've invested in a couple of companies that I think are the future, but I'm not a multi-multi-millionaire where these guys, you know, venture capitalists with 20, like a shark tank. I'm not that guy. But uh, I really want people to think about three things for the future. Clean water, renewable, reliable electricity, and access to the internet for everybody.